Hey guys, I don't know about you, but I love Star Wars and I am super excited that there's going to be a new release. So when I was watching the clip, I noticed this adorable, maybe he's not adorable, BB-8 cruising around. We've seen them in the stores. They look super fun and I couldn't wait to turn it into a cake. I'm doing this as part of a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTube channels who are going to be making some cool Star Wars treats as well, so be sure to check out that playlist at the end of this video. So to make BB-8, I went ahead and I baked two ball pans in a six inch to make a full sphere. And then I also made a little four inch round cake as well for the top. I've also made some of our dark chocolate ganache. Now, as well as the usual bread knife and steak knife, spatula and scraper, I've also needed to go ahead and get prepped to make this really structurally sound. I've gone ahead and cut two inch round circles out of a cake plate, and I've made a nice hole in the center for our dowel to go through. I've also put a hole in my cake board, and I have a screw to put it all together. So the first thing I wanna do is just shave off the top of each cake making sure that you go down far enough so that it becomes a nice round ball. On one of them, I'm also gonna flip it over and just measure out a little section to make flat, just so that we can put our board onto it. Once that's looking right, you can put that off to the side and it's time to get working on our little four inch cake. Now I'm gonna start by placing a little board onto it. So with this one, I'm just gonna take my steak knife and we just want to pull it back a little bit. Now we want to come back around and just make it a little bit smaller, still keeping the top nice and domed. Coming down and just making it a little bit smaller. Turn it over and just make sure that your board is staying in the center. I'm going to start by adding a little bit of ganache to the board and then placing that down on the cake. At this time, I wanna go through here and just poke a hole into the cake, just using a bamboo skewer. And I just wanna to start to get rid of some of that excess cake there. Then I'm gonna place the next cake down, not filling it just yet, and just run it all the way through that too. So just go ahead, do a nice coat, not too thick so we don't change the shape of our sphere and then place our top cake on. Now this cake and our top one are gonna go into the fridge for about 15 minutes to set up before we apply our ganache. We start by applying to the bottom, just to make it nice and easy to get a good coating. And come back and scrape it off right up against the board. And carefully take your cake, flip it over, and do the same to the top. Don't worry about this being too perfect because this is just our first go. It's really important to do two coats of ganache with a shape like this. Now attach this board and do the same to our little cake. Now I'm placing down a bit of parchment so that my cake doesn't stick to the turntable. And I've gone ahead and made my ganache extremely sloppy now for this second coat. I'm gonna go ahead and get it on fairly quickly and then start scraping it back. And then you wanna go ahead and allow this to set up for a good six hours or overnight at room temperature. So now that our cakes are nice and set up, it's time to make sure that we can still reach all the way through this cake and create a nice hole for our dowel. And we're gonna create a little bit of room in our small tier here. So our small one's really nice and easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out a little bit of ganache and cake. I'm gonna press with my finger so I know where the hole is. Using a very small cookie cutter, I'm just gonna clear away the ganache, pick up our cake, and just make sure that you've got it going all the way through. And this will make it a lot easier and cleaner when you're covering in fondant. So try to get out as much as you can. 
Moving that off to the side, I'm going to go ahead now and just coat the entire cake in some sugar syrup. So to cover this cake, you're going to need some white fondant, a large rolling pin, a pizza cutter, some corn flour or cornstarch so that it doesn't stick to your surface, an acetate smoother and a craft knife. Give your fondant a good knead, put down some corn flour and then roll it out. Pick your fondant up, lay it down and just start attaching the top to start with. Pull it out and just slightly curve it. The trick is to just slowly work your way down all the way around the cake. Pull it around so there's no section that has a lot of wrinkles and folds to get rid of. You want to scoop it in and push it in on the board so that you're not tearing and dragging it at all. You'd be amazed at how much fondant you really need to tuck underneath. Now keep a lot left over. Flare it out and then scoop under. Again, keep a lot left over as you cut. Now we've created these little soft pads using just some lycra and some foam in it. And it's really handy to work with cakes. Just cut away the excess that's on the board. Need the whole bottom to be level with that board. I'm going to use the acetate to just rub and buff. Take your cake and flip it back over. And just take your acetate and just buff it all over. Just to make it as smooth as you can. Around, make sure it's sticking to the bottom. And then straight away you want to punch a hole in it right where that hole is running through for the dowel. And then it's time to get working on the top. Take some of that excess fondant and roll it out for the top. Lay it over the top. And this one is super easy. Just keep working your way around. Again, keep a fair bit extra. Hold it up. Trim off a fair bit and then you can get that last section to curl in. Level it off and then give it a nice buff. So now I have my cake board, I have some royal icing, both of my cakes, a dowel which I have chopped on a bit of an angle, slightly taller than our cake, a screw and I've also made a screw hole in the dowel and in the board. So I want to place the screw through here. Attach the dowel, just get it started, and then use a drill. Okay, once that's on there, you want to add a little bit of royal icing to the base. Now I'm going to take my cake. If you don't have smoothing pads, you can use a tea towel. Feel where the hole is, line it up, and slowly push the cake down. Now I'm not going to place any dowels just to the side here because the top cake is so light and it's just a vanilla cupcake recipe that I've used. If it was a larger cake or if it was heavier, what I would go ahead and do is place two wooden dowels that stop right at the height of the cake. And you can see that done in the topsy-turvy tutorial. Feel where the hole is and just pop it down. So now I'm going to be using some modeling chocolate to decorate this cake just because when you roll it out it becomes nice and firm and then when you carve away at it you find it so much easier to work with than fondant. Using a large cookie cutter, find the size that you're happy with and then roll out six of those. I'm also going to roll out another one for the top of the cake. Grab a cookie cutter two sizes down and cut that out and that'll be perfect for the top. I'm also gonna use a multi-ribbon cutter to cut out some sections to go around the top and keep those off to the side. Now for the other ones, we're gonna take a cookie cutter that is three sizes down 
and cut out the center of all of those. I'm gonna keep all the inside circles because that will help us to be able to make some of the cool shapes that go into these. So now I'm gonna place one back into there and just draw some little ones and just mark out where the little bits need to be added. And once you've got some you like, you can use that as a guide. Now, I don't know about you, but I know as soon as I saw the trailer for the new Star Wars, I knew that BB-8 was gonna be my favorite new addition. I would love to hear from you guys of who your favorite Star Wars character of all time is. Now I'm coming back and cutting up some little sections for the top. Just making sure I do everything in sets of two so that both sides are the same. Now on this one, we need to give it a bit of a trim on top. Now modeling chocolate can still curl a little bit. So we wanna make sure that it's a nice size. Take some sugar glue or water, attach it to the modeling chocolate and press down. Now I'm going to attach the big discs. Now this one's gonna to have to get cut just because we need it to line up. And I like to work on one side and then do the opposite. Come back in with all of these. So now I'm gonna keep my orange off to the side and I'm gonna work on doing some of the gray. Go down two sizes smaller, add our gray on top, and then I'm gonna come back with a toothpick and just make some lines. Okay, that gives us a really nice little circle. It's gonna go around one of the dials. Now I'm gonna roll a really long strip to go all the way around the top piece. Apply some sugar glue and then attach around. I'm gonna roll the black ball for the top, cut it in half with a little bit of glue and add the other black dot and add some of those orange lines just making sure that you stay even on each side so now all of these centers are slightly different so I'm going ahead and just using little circles and cutting out little bits and just creating all the different shapes So I have a little bit of blue to attach to pretend like it's a light. And I'm just gonna make a little antenna. Pop that in. The other one has a tiniest bit of black at the bottom and the tiniest bit at the top. And there you go guys, we have our BB-8 cake to help celebrate the Star Wars movie release. We were so excited to see that there was a fun new character and going and seeing these in the shops, it was so cool and I really, really wanted to get one. So I thought, why not turn it into a cake? It looks so awesome. I can't wait to dig into this. Now this is a collaboration with a bunch of other fun YouTube channels who are also going to be making the Star Wars sweets. So be sure to check out that playlist here. And if you want to see more of our sculpted cakes, head on over and check out this playlist as well. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. We have them on Tuesdays and Fridays.